What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to do something pretty darn different. I want to talk about movies. I don't normally talk about movies often on this channel, but I want to rank the top five movies I'm still excited to see uh, this year. So, obviously, a lot of movies have been delayed. A lot, I mean, basically every movie under the sun has been pushed in some way. There are still some pretty good ones coming out this year. Definitely not as many as what we're going to, you know, what was going to be. 2020 is not a very strong year for films. It wasn't really going to be in the first place, and definitely isn't now. But but here's the five. So I'm going to be starting at the lowest, going to the highest. Again, obviously not every movie can make this list, and there are definitely movies that I'm still going to hopefully be seeing that aren't on this list. So these, these aren't just, you know, these aren't necessarily like the only movies I want to see this year. Uh, number five is Monster Hunter. Now hear me out with this one. I know this is going to be starting kind of polarizing. Um, mainly it's, it's number five. It's a movie I'm interested in because I just want to see what they do with it, okay? It's not being made from the greatest of minds. So obviously from Paul Paul Anderson. Now, you know, say what you want about the Resident Evil films. I mean, they're entertaining. They're not the greatest films in the world. They're they're good in their own way. I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff. I actually enjoyed the movies, but I never took them for anything more than like face value, right? I never went in with expectations higher than basically anything. My expectations were were pretty darn low. I think Mila Jovovich is a very, very good actress, though. I think she's uh, she's not really used in the right way, too. And I, obviously, she had to carry the Resident Evil movies, but I think she is just generally a a pretty solid actress that just doesn't get you know kind of the role I mean maybe she, she signs up for these roles obviously and she's linked to her her husband quite often but I think the movie can be good I'm not the biggest fan of Monster Hunter I like it uh, I, I would watch this film if people say like positive things about it but again I, I want to give it a chance but again it's mainly here just because I want to see what they do with it is it going to be a complete disaster is it going you know because a lot of people think that the, the films of Resident Evil I mean they really hurt the brand of Resident Evil right like there was a, a disappointment or like a just a uh, like a mocking almost of the of the uh, franchise Resident Evil we'll have to see if Monster Hunter uh, does the same thing number four is Dune now uh, again this is a movie that I not really are, am all that interested in. I mainly put it here because everybody was telling me like this is a movie you need to be interested in I mean you look at the cast the cast is absolutely incredible these are extremely high profile actors and actresses in this world you know with its sci-fi kind of thing and I, I've seen like the pictures of it obviously you guys are probably seeing pictures of it right now I mean it does look extremely cool am I like pacing back and forth every day am I waiting for like the trailer no not necessarily but this is a movie that I think all it really needs for me is the trailer I mean once the trailer comes out I see the trailer I think I can easily be hooked and as you know until then until that actually happens I'm completely okay with just pe everybody you know out there saying like hey this is a very good franchise this is something that they think is going to work really really well with films again you look at the cast you look at everything you know, going around this movie, it's got a lot going for it. So, you know, with all of that just being said to me, I am very excited for that film. Number three. Now, this is where it gets to like the ones that even uh, a couple months ago, before all of this stuff happened, right? These were films I would have put in my top five. I would have put like Fast and Furious in my top five. Actually, that would have easily been my number one, but that got delayed way, way too long. But number three is A Quiet Place uh, Part Two. So this was the film, obviously, that was really like the first one to get hit by all this. Was this? Uh, you know, they got pulled from theaters. They didn't give a release date. Then they did. You know, actually a little bit while after all this stuff started happening, you know, they, they announced early September. So, you know, actually I believe this comes out, I think it comes out September 4th, which is the same day as Monster Hunter. So both of these uh, movies comes out on the same day. This is a movie like I, I'm seeing day one, okay? I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go to the movie theaters to see it. I have no problem doing that. I'm not really afraid of, uh, of this stuff. So I would definitely go. This is a, a movie. The first movie was amazing. I really, really loved the first movie. The ending obviously had a lot of problems problems too. I didn't really love the way of them figuring it all out, but I really, really did like that movie. And I think the second one can be just as strong. Uh, again, I mean, it puts you into that atmosphere. I, I really, again, I, I, I can't say enough good things about that first movie. This was one, again, even before, if you would have asked me in the beginning, like January, I would have definitely put this uh, in my top five. A second one, or my number two, which again is one I would definitely put in my top five, is Black Widow. A uh, one that, you know, was like, man, can it not be pushed because of all this? Obviously, a lot of things that happened because of, or, you know, a lot of things that happened around where it's like, okay, it's completely understandable why you you move this, but this is a movie that I think is going to be very, very good. Scarlett Johansson is, is a great actress. Black Widow is a character I think a, a ton of, including myself, you know, I liked her. I liked her in the movies, but really, you know, the two, you know, Infinity, uh, Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, those were insanely good movies that vaulted her up into easily one of the better characters. And I think literally, like, character in in these uh, films, she's a fantastic one. 
So to see her, you know, one more time in this movie, everything looks solid about it. it, it again, it's a Marvel movie. You know what you're gonna, you know, you know what you're gonna get. Is it gonna be the greatest thing on planet Earth? You know, actually, I mean, some of these Marvel movies have been, you know, especially like Infinity War. I absolutely, you know, love. That's one of the best movies I think created. I love that movie. But you know, for Black Widow, I think it's gonna be very, very good. I think it'll probably be in that top third of Marvel films. You know, you're gonna get the jokes. You know, you're gonna get the action. You know, you're, you're gonna get some emotional moments. You know, you're gonna get a good acting. I mean, everything's there. Everything's there. Looks very solid. Uh, sucks that we couldn't have seen it, you know, a month and a half ago, two months ago. Uh, but still coming. Obviously takes the eternal spot, which I have no problem with. I have no interest in that movie whatsoever. So that is definitely one that I'm uh, much, much anticipating. And number one is Wonder Woman. This would have been, again, if you would have, again, if you would have asked me in January, it probably would have been Fast and Furious, then Wonder Woman, Black Widow, Quiet Place. That's probably the order that I would have put these in. But Wonder Woman, obviously, has really this is besides Black Widow. I think Black Widow is obviously a very, very big movie too that can make a lot of money. Wonder Woman is that other one. Okay, uh, I love the first Wonder Woman. I really, really do. I thought that was a phenomenal. See that movie like three, four times. I'm sure I'll watch it again uh, before this movie. It did have problems, especially towards the end. But I think as a whole, and even when it was created back in the like the absolute mess that was the DC, you know, on like the the movie universe, right? It was a disaster. And yet this movie came out, and this showed like man. They actually can do it. Like, they just have to kind of figure it out, right? So, this movie looks really good. I actually have a lot of confidence that, you know, we've seen you know, beginnings do well, and then, like, sequels, we've seen, like, be, you know, be hurt and all that kind of stuff. I think it is possible this movie isn't good, but as of right now, I mean, I just want to see it. I mean, I, I, especially at this point, the movie's been pushed, like, three different times, and, and I think a lot of people are kind of, and even, like, Gal Gadot, like, for, for what she sounds like, right, uh, and, and what she's, like, posted is, like, like, okay, this is the last time, like, you'll finally be able to see it, and it's like, yeah, at this point, I really don't have any care if it's good or bad. I just want to see the movie. If it is bad, whatever. If it is good fantastic you know what i mean i'm kind of in that expectation mode of it but i'm very very excited to see this movie again this would have been my number two movie even back in january when no movie you know a lot of movies have been pushed completely out of 2020 this one definitely still would have made my list so guys let me know in the comments below what do you think what are some movies that you're anticipating or you're, you're, you want to see uh this year i know again for a channel like this i don't really cover movie stuff all that often but i do it's just because there's no movies a uh, podcast now was always a place where i would talk about games and movies so definitely going to start picking that up again when movies start to come out we'll have more videos have more videos here as well hopefully i, I want to cover uh, you know at least all five of these movies that i talked about i i'm sure there'll be content on both these channels on them when they come out but let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always make sure you guys are subscribed to this youtube channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up and i do a new video on this channel every single day and so i hope to see you guys on tomorrow's video